Okay, so this is a crazy paving pattern, this ground glass opacity with superimposed interlobular and intralobular septal thickening, especially given the mosaic attenuation. These dark areas of secondary pulmonary lobules, hypodense areas, represent sparing of lungs. And that's how the crazy paving was originally described. It really was talking about those areas of sparing as well. So crazy paving, I think now has sort of evolved into just being this combination of ground glass opacity and interlobular and intralobular septal thickening. What's the differential diagnosis? Again, first described in pulmonary alveolar prognosis. And in that setting in pulmonary alveolar prognosis, it very often does have that mosaic attenuation. So we get these areas that are severely affected with ground glass opacity and intralobular and interlobular septal thickening. And then you have other areas of other secondary pulmonary lobules, often in confluent areas of secondary pulmonary lobules, which are essentially completely spared. And so that's real, how the way I think of crazy paving. But again, if you think of crazy paving the way I think most people now will define it, it has a very wide differential diagnosis, including pulmonary edema, atypical infection, pulmonary hemorrhage, I can go on, diffuse alveolar damage in the setting of ARDS, a lot of more common things than pulmonary alveolar prognosis, which can give you this manifestation of ground glass opacity and intralobular and interlobular septal thickening. Because this is 2021, uh, this patient obviously has COVID infection, this is the atypical infection manifesting with this crazy paving appearance. Another thing, teaching point here is sometimes when you get areas of central lobular emphysema superimposed on an infiltrative process, so it, for example, up in here, you get this weird, odd appearance, it almost feels like cystic lung disease or some sort of weird underlying interstitial lung disease. More often than not, this just represents central lobular emphysema uh, superimposed on the infiltrative process, which gives it this sort of unusual appearance. And so I think you have to be mindful when you do have a patient with central lobular emphysema with superimposed infiltration within the lung, you have to be careful in trying to uh, read too much into it and trying to read underlying interstitial lung disease. You're better off repeating the imaging when the patient is at his or her level of baseline health. So maybe repeating a, a CT in six months, maybe three months is not long enough for everything to clear up. But if you do in six months, probably anything that's acute will have sort of melted away gone away and you'll be left with the underlying chronic lung disease if the patient has any.